You're watching 7 and 7, a week-long adventure around one of the world's best-known ski regions where we discover seven ski resorts worth shouting from the mountaintops about. And in the last episode, we were in Kutai, trying to give Sean White a run for his money in the halfpipe. And this morning, we've driven to Stubai, Austria's largest glacial resort. And we're here to find out why so many of the world's top skiers and snowboarders make this their pre-season training destination. So stay with us as we spend the next 24 hours high above the clouds at the Stubai Glacier. If you're taking a direct transfer or driving to Dubai from Innsbruck Airport, then the journey should take less than an hour. For those staying in Innsbruck itself, buses to the Dubai Tal depart twice hourly in the morning from just outside the train station. Skiers and boarders wishing to stay close to the skiing in Dubai can choose from a number of attractive towns and villages in the Dubai Tal, which are serviced by the resort ski bus. Neustift is the most popular of these towns and it's just a 20 minute drive from the bottom of the Dubai Glacier Resort. Once parked, it doesn't take long before you're at the top of the Tyrol, surveying the impressive landscape. From the viewing platform at the top of the Schalfel Yacht Lift, you can see an incredible 109 peaks over 3,000 metres. The two-minute climb up to this large steel structure, which overhangs the cliff by a toe-curling 9 metres, is definitely worth the effort, as long as you don't suffer from vertigo. Alois Ronalta has worked up at the Stubai Glacier for almost 40 years and has seen the landscape change dramatically during that time. The glacier may have changed, but he still knows the mountains like the back of his hand. Who is this resort suited for? Because we've got a lovely beginner areas behind us here, but there's some pretty big off-piste terrain and big runs as well. Yeah. It's actually for every skier. It's a beautiful area for every skier because it's, our ski area shows a lot of intermediate skier. As you see, the, the runs are very wide runs. The snow conditions at this time, beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. where you have got in the lower areas, you know, in, in at this time it starts getting slushy more. Yeah, but yeah. up here you still get beautiful conditions. With 1500 meters of vertical descent above 1750 meters, over 60 kilometers of patrolled runs, 22 lifts and dozens of wide open pistes, Stubai definitely isn't your average glacial resort. to cruise down Dubai's wide open pistes or get a little more competitive between the gates, this resort has a lot to offer skiers and boarders of all abilities and aspirations. If you like tree skiing though, you may want to explore the other three ski resorts in this Dubai Tal. On the glacier, families are well catered for, with an array of fun slopes and play areas to keep the little ones entertained. There's also a number of large canteen style restaurants Big kids are also well looked after at Dubai, with the resort hosting the world famous Zoo Park for five months of the year. Despite the zoo being scaled back in the middle of the season, the smaller Zoo Park looked perfect for me. gold at the X Games, but at least I made it down in one piece. From October to December and April to May, Stubai is the place for the world's best freestyle skiers and boarders to train, with the resort building its XL setup for the visiting pros. We had a quick chat to Pablo, one of the shapers about Stubai's legendary reputation. The two biggest kickers that we have are used for, are used by lots of the athletes for training for um, Aaron Style. Yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, then the, the first Aaron Style uh, event this season was Beijing and all the riders on the podium trained here. If like me though you thought a frontside double cork melon was a cocktail you'd drink in a trendy London bar and you prefer your parks with a little bit more green grass and ice cream vans then you'll be pleased to hear that Stubai's park isn't the only part of the resort where construction is happening. Stubai are currently building a new 60 million euro state-of-the-art gondola which will cut the journey to the ice scratch station by almost half. 
with the cabins designed by the famous Ferrari design house Pininfarina and featuring leather seats and free Wi-Fi, the new ice rack gondola promises to make the journey to the top of the Tyrol a much more pleasurable experience. Once at the bottom of the resort, there are regular buses to popular stops in the Stubaital and shuttle buses that will ferry you to your car. But if your legs aren't quite done for the day, you can always ski to the end of the car park. So it was time for us to pack away our gear for the last time and drive down the valley to our final hotel of the trip. Similarly to us, most people holidaying in the Stubaital stay a few miles down the valley in Neustift or Fulmez. We would be spending the night at one of Austria's most exclusive five-star spa hotels, the Hotel Jagdorf. So that's it. Sadly, our 7 in 7 adventure has come to an end, but we've had a blast this last week, rushing around the Austrian Tyrol, discovering seven very different ski areas, but each offering something for everyone. One thing that has been the same though, wherever we've been, has been the warmth and the hospitality of the Austrian people that we've met along the way. And I, for one, can't wait to come back and do it all again next year. For more information about Stubai and all the different ski resorts you've seen on this series, check out skiclub.co.uk. And if you want to watch more resort guides and other videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here. So all that remains for us to do before we head out of Innsbruck Airport early in the morning is to spend our last night here at Austria's premier spa hotel, the Hotel Jagdorf. Over 3,000 square meters of wellness facilities and 17 different saunas to choose from. It's a tough life, hey, Nicole? Really tough life. See ya. See ya.